What is up, family? My Gen fam, my crypto fam, my food truck fam, and all my brothers and sisters from another Mrs. and Mr. Anyhow, I am making this video for all of the people, guys, girls, he, she's, we's, v's, b's, d's, and everything in between. If you are stuck in your life, if you know you're smart, if you know that if you enjoy something that you truly excel at it and you, 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 you know, you really give it your all and you, you become an expert at whatever you are interested in. And, you know, you just haven't found a career yet. You know, I was 27, 26 years old. Uh, and I was, you know, living with my parents, tried going to college, didn't know what I wanted to do, first of all. And so that was already, um, you know, setting me up for failure. I wanted to just go to college to go to college, you know, everyone's doing it from high school, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I knew and I know that I'm extremely smart, especially if I'm interested in this, in, in what I'm doing. Right. Um, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I did. It's super hard. It's like, Oh, you know, you could do it. You could be anything. And it's like, well, how do I go? What path do I take to get to that point? It's like, there's so many different like career majors and, and minors from college. And like, I, first of all, I hate the whole sitting in, I'm super ADHD. I can't do the same thing over and over again. Uh, example, sitting in a classroom all day taking notes, especially if it's things I'm not interested in, you know, you got to go to college and you got to do all these courses that have nothing to do with the career that you are going for. And that's just, so I dropped out of college. Um, I'm living at my parents, I'm working, delivering pizzas. I'm, uh, a host at a restaurant. I ended up getting promoted to, you know, assistant manager only because I had been there for a while and they were closing the restaurant down in like six months. And so they didn't want to hire a new person, but I still get to brag that I was an assistant manager. Yeah. Anyways, there is hope. That's what I want this video to be about. You know, I went from that. I went from being the class clown in high school, the partier, the not give a F person, the funny, you know, just, I've always been extremely nice, but I just didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I knew that whatever I did enjoy, and if I enjoyed it, I would become an expert at it. I just didn't know what I wanted to do. I love helping people, you know, but there's just, okay, that could be anything, you know? That's kind of where I just got so like lost. It was just like, I can't narrow this down. My mom, literally was like, you know, listen, you got to do something. And so you might as well go do a trade and have a skill that you will always have. So when I say trade, I'm saying be an electrician, do a, become a plumber, do welding, Uh, HVAC and you know 
I agreed in the sense that I don't know what the hell I want to do with my life. So you know what? Screw it. I said, sign me up. <laughs> yeah, my mom signed me up. That's how bad they wanted me out of the house. I needed a job. Uh, you know, I need to be able to support myself. And so they were doing anything to get me out. Signs me up for the four year electrical apprenticeship program. First year, I didn't, you know, it was interesting. And I have always like taken toys apart while, you know, when younger and mess with the wiring and have, you know, shocked myself a couple times when, when I was younger. Um, and most likely that's the root cause of all of my, uh, mental problems. A anyways, I chose electrical, completed the first year. It was difficult because it was classroom setting. There was the lab, which was like once a week, you would go into like a created room that had you know wooden studs and drywall to like put outlets but the theory part of it was difficult okay so this isn't like you can just breeze through it it took some effort and so <clears throat> okay I'm good now all right so let me get back to explaining myself. Shit, I cannot multitask at all. Like, at all. Fudgety, fudgety, fudge, fudge. Anyhow. So, like, you know, I didn't know what to do with my life. My parents, specifically my mom, was like, yo, I'm signing you up for a trade. Pick one. And... I was interested in the whole electrical. Originally, I wanted to be an electrician wiring houses, yada, yada, yada. Um, and so I finished my first year by a fucking thread. Shit was hard. Shit was hard. That whole math you know, friggin', you know, nine plus nine, like, fucking, what is that one, 17, like, it was hard, okay, um, and the fact that I just was not interested in it, you know, yet, it was kind of just like, oh, I'm doing this to do it, I, you know, it is a little interesting, but this whole, like, classroom shit sucks, bring me out in the field, let's, like, wire some stuff and talk to me and teach me while we're doing that. So, first year, I wasn't, you're not working for a company, right? You're going to school and you're doing whatever the hell you were doing before you even were a thought in this, in your teacher's eye. That didn't make sense. Anyways, so you do your first year and they're like, hey, starting the school year for your second year, you need to have a, an employer and a, you need to work for an electrical company um, and they got to be willing to basically like sign off some documents uh, every month saying that you have gotten this uh, amount of experience in this, 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 and this, like underground piping, you know, overhead wiring, um, meters, you know, long distance calculations for voltage drop and all of that sort of stuff. So, okay, I need a job, right? I need a job. Well, I don't give a shit about this. So I was living in Boca with my parents <clears throat> and I go on Google and I type in electrical company in Boca Raton. And I click the first link and I clicked contact us and I clicked the email and I emailed him and acted like I 
was super interested and that I was the best damn kid in the world, which I am not. They don't need to know that yet. <laughs> so, dude emails me pretty quickly, and which was surprising. I emailed a bunch of companies too after that just down the list, right? Like, I'm not doing any particular searching here. I'm just like, let me get this done so my mom stops bitching at me. Um, and he emails me <clears throat> and is like, oh yeah, you know, I'm uh, building my house. I'm building this mill this, this mansion. Um, you know, my electricians could use a helper for, you know, four to six months, you know? Yeah, I could use it for four to six months is what he said. And so I was like, I said, man, you know, I can't, unfortunately, I need a full-time job for my schooling. I'm doing the apprenticeship, the electrical apprenticeship, and they won't allow me to do, you know, just this. And so he goes, all right, well, come help wire the house with my electricians. And once we're done working at my house, you can come work at my company. Fair enough, okay. Um, I, I'm like dead serious. I do not think I even was like, what's the company? <laughs> like, I'm serious. It could have very well have been like not an electrical company and I would have ended up like at a pool fucking company type shim make it big big blah, 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 blah. so anyhow finishing going in through the second year I'm um, wiring working with his electricians getting to know them and it ends up being a generator company whoop de doo we're in South Florida um and this the owner has a generator company that is uh, gas licensed and electrical licensed for pulling permits, all that. They do the installation, the servicing, and obviously sales, whatever. The whole thing. The gas side of things. Putting the tank in the ground. You know, 500 or 750 or 1,000 gallon propane tank. You know, putting in regulators, running the piping from the tank wherever to wherever the stub up needs to be for the generator pouring the pads then the electrical side of things mounting the transfer switches pulling the wire through the piping from the generator location to the transfer switch you know going in disconnecting and separating neutrals when you um you put a main disconnect up and so the original main disconnect is not the first means of disconnect, meaning you got to go and separate the neutrals and the grounds. The neutrals and grounds are tied together at the first means, the first disconnect, you know, the first main. <clears throat> so we did, you know, it was everything. It was everything. And so here I am, I'm doing, I'm a helper. 14 an hour um and by this time i you know the the two electricians that i worked with had they knew they knew me i spent six uh you know five five months with them literally every day and um so they put in a good word for me because i do bust my ass and i do do good work and i do you know, I do work my butt off. That's for sure. No one will ever tell you that I am not a hard worker. I will outwork you, B. So, I am an assistant on the install team, okay? So, what do we do? We go and we will have the digging crew will dig the trench from where the the transfer switch is gonna be mounted. It'll, they'll dig a trench to that wall. 
We'll lay all the piping, whether it's two inch, depending on the run and the size of the generator, how big the wire needs to be. We will run two inch pipe, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, plus the three quarter uh, control pipe um, and glue it all. We'll pull the, the wire through, mount the transfer switches, um, connect the generator control wires, whether, you know, N1, N2, you got battery charger, we've got black, we've got white, you know, um, installing load shed modules, um, customizing panels, sometimes they'll buy the, you know, the little 12 circuit one, and so they want certain things on it, just anything uh, in that sense of things, so you know, I'm enjoying it. It's pretty cool at this point. You know, I'm learning, 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 and I was learning. Um, I asked more questions than any other new hire at that company combined from the last year. However many people they've hired, I've asked more questions about my job trying to learn than anyone else, all right? I know how to be, when I am interested in something, I learn it. And you gotta ask questions. You gotta build a solid foundation of knowledge from the very bottom and, and then bam, you start asking this, well, what's this, well, what's that? Oh, hold on, let me call a friend, find out why this is this way, because that is a little, different than, you know, etc. And bam. I'm getting five-star reviews on the install team. Unheard of. I got the gift of gab, as my buddy Henry would say. And so I am getting five-star reviews and they're like, what the heck is this white boy doing? And uh, they started making a competition out of it. Whoever has the most reviews gets 50 a month. Man, I got that $50 a month for the whole year straight. <clears throat> no one can compete with, with b Rye, the five-star generator guy, okay? I'll just tell you that. No one. So along with me being the, the highest rated employee, they cross-trained me. They sent me to Generac training. I got certified, air-cooled, in Generac, okay? Okay. We were a Generac uh, and a Kohler dealer. At one point we were, um, what's it called? We were selling, we were hitting the $1 million uh, like every six month type classification. We were selling a shit ton of generators, okay? A shit ton. Um, so anyhow, <clears throat> they cross-trained me to service the generators now. I had no idea about engines. A generator is two things in a way. It's an engine and an alternator that makes, pa that produces power. And when I say alternator, don't get confused by the little DC alternator that is in your vehicle. It can very well have that. I'm talking about an AC alternator that is producing power for the building or whatever it's supplying. They got me trained to troubleshoot and to do startups on the generators with the customers, doing the final connections, calling in the Generac, registering it under warranty, et cetera, et cetera. And I, Loved it. Um, you know, when you are doing installs, you're at one job all day. And sometimes you're at that job multiple days in a row. If you're wiring a house or you're doing an install at a property, you know, the first day you got to go and spec out where you're going to run your piping, have the digging crew dig it up lay the piping, okay, that's day one. Day two, go ahead and mount the transfer switches. Sometimes there's multiple transfer switches. Uh, you know, install your load uh, bank, your load modules, load shed modules. 
um, you know, wait for an inspection, get the gas inspection. Okay, now you're on your third day, hooking it all up. And so that gets boring to me. I don't, I love new, I love just new things, you know. Uh, come on, dude, move the fudge over. If I can do something new every day and it have something to do with my career, like that's super, that's way better than just like, doing the same shit over and over and over and over and over and over. I can't do it. I end up losing interest and uh, it, it, it's bad news from there. So, you know, I'm like, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, we need you to go over there. And then actually after that, can, can you go do that? And I'm like, what? What? Start bringing in the reviews. I am doing everything. And I fell in love with the whole service side of it. I love the whole electrical part because there is electrical in the servicing side. When I say servicing, that is maintenance and troubleshooting the generator, okay? And you need to know electrical. You need to know engines to be a very good technician. You gotta be an overall, you've gotta know both sides of things. And that was an issue for a lot of people. They either know engines or they know electrical and they don't wanna learn the other part. So I went crazy, like I said. I just, I went crazy. I was learning as much as I can. I made a Facebook group called Generator Engine Manual Files slash support. We're at 4,000 members now. We've got the largest, gen we've got the largest manual database for generator uh, manuals in the world. And uh, we have a family on there. We help each other every single day. Like I said, there's 4,000 members, all US-based generator technicians, agent, ages from 70 to 20. We've got generator technicians that have 40, 50 years under their belt. And the community is like no other. We all want each other going home at the end of the day. We want people to learn uh, and and it, we don't want people to be lazy about learning. Also, you'll find that out real quick. Uh, if it's something that can can be found by looking in the manual, like, uh, and it's very obvious, like you're gonna get told that and it's gonna be a smack in the face <laughs> via words. So I'm very involved in the industry. And, and so anyhow, you know, second year passes, third year passes, and I'm still doing the apprenticeship, learning all electrical, which is very beneficial, obviously, right? So I graduate the apprenticeship, the four-year apprenticeship, I graduate. And I am not me, I, you know, I got like a 50 cent raise one year. And, da -da 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 -da. and so I had started at 14. They were hiring people at 20 and there was a whole like grading scale on skills that each electrician at the company had. And I'm at the top, yet my pay is at the bottom. And I said, all right, that ain't gonna work. I need a raise. They only wanted to give me uh, like a dollar raise to 15. And I, I said, yeah, right. And they said, all right, 16. And I said, and uh, went and found another job at 18. And, uh, and you know, this is what I said to myself. I'm like, all right, I just did residential. I'm solid in the residential uh, side of things. I wanna go up. I wanna, where's the money at? Uh, it's in the big boy stuff. So commercial and industrial. So I found a commercial company and went and worked for them. 20 bucks an hour so from 16 to 20 got some experience it was definitely a, sh uh, a shell shock it, you know it's definitely because now you're doing diesel you're not doing liquid propane and natural gas which is 99 percent residential okay um you're doing diesel and so i learned everything about diesel and i don't know everything nothing not even close but i started learning about diesel okay 
a uh, company reaches out, hey, we uh, we like your group with the manuals. Come work for us. We'll give you 25 an hour. Peace! Went over to them. They were an industrial dealer. Uh, and when I worked for each company, I made sure that I was working with the best techs at the company so that I could ask them questions and learn from them and imitate them and get the tools that they had. Um, and bam, 25 an hour turns into a $32 an hour, turns into a $38 an hour. Within five years, I went from 14 bucks to 38 an hour with that, you know, I could get overtime if I wanted, amazing healthcare benefits, take home vehicle, gas card, credit card, cell phone, laptop, hotspot. Um, I mean, it is an amazing industry. It really is. We're the best of the best out of any industry uh, for the trades. Being a generator technician is not for everyone. And you really do got to have some some knowledge you've got to have some smarts when it comes to technology electric engine both you got to know how to use a meter you know but we get taken care of and we're a very close group and we talk to each other and and we work together to keep getting taken care of we need people. The whole industry as a trade whole needs new. We need more people. But I just wanted to let anyone know that who just doesn't know what the hell they want to do with their life, go do a trade. It's hands on. Um, like I said, it ain't a walk in the park. Each program is different. I'm assuming welding would be way more hands-on the whole time. So keep that in mind, okay? It changed my life. I've got my own business now. This is my third year in business. Last year, my second year in business, I went the whole year working for myself. I didn't have to go work for someone because I wasn't bringing in enough profit. My dad is the accountant and he called my ass up all surprised saying in his New York accent, hey, bro, you know how much money you made this year? And I said, what up? And got 160,000 and that's not including cash, guys. That is not including around another 30 grand. All right, I made almost a quarter of a million dollars all right, fine. I, I made around $200,000. For all you fucking haters that are going, oh yeah, that, I don't know, that was only two, that was only 199.2. Whatever, bro. I killed it. My, my company is the highest rated generator company in Florida. I've got a five-star rating with 120 something reviews check us out if you got any questions i want everyone to survive and i want everyone making money and i will do anything that i possibly can if i can all right so like i said if you don't know what you want to do do a trade i'm telling you it might change your life and you might be like damn this is this is definitely something i wanted to do like i said in the video i used to fucking take wiring apart and have it plugged in and shock myself one time i put the freaking 12 volt dc jack charger for like laptops in my mouth and all i felt was just like a weird warm buzzing like just like it was weird it was like it was hard to explain but my brain is hard to explain anyhow peace out i'm about to get to my next job i will never work for anyone ever again ever again i it's amazing to make your own schedule it's hard as hell owning your own business is a lot of work from the quotes invoicing building your site keeping it updated learning trying to expand it's hard but i wouldn't trade it 
for a single thing. If you have any questions, let me know. Boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 boom,